Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And I bet you thought we were done talking about cleaning motherboards. Well, you wrong! All right, so we have talked quite a bit about how to clean a motherboard, okay? We've talked about Q-tips and how to how to change the viscosity of the actual like flux itself to be able to sop up better. Uh, we've talked about the chemicals that you need to use, like the 99% isopropyl alcohol. You know, there's 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 been a couple little videos through the channel, but the one thing that I haven't talked about yet, and the one thing that I don't feel like I'm hearing other people talk much about, is the toothbrush situation. Now, don't get me wrong, people have been brushing their teeth for a long time with regular toothbrushes, and they're just fine. Same thing with the motherboards. You're probably just fine. You just use the toothbrush, clean it up, and you just keep cleaning it until it's done, and there you go, right? That's the end of the story. Well, maybe. I mean, maybe. It could be better, though, right? There's always got to be a better way. Well, let me, let me show you something. If you're like me, I use an ultrasonic toothbrush whenever I'm just doing my normal brushing because, to be perfectly honest, I, they're intense. They're timed, they're strong, they're powerful, they they, 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 they they get more done, you know what I mean? They get between all the little places. It's crazy, an ultrasonic toothbrush. So why don't we see them more in our industry? Well, we should, and I think now after this video, we will, I hope. But there's some things we need to talk about here because we got a couple different ones. Which one's the best? Are they all the same? Is it not that big of a deal? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, there's actually some big differences between these, so you need to pay attention. If you want to, go ahead and up your flux cleaning game. Pay attention to what I'm about to tell you, because not every ultrasonic toothbrush is the same. They do do crazy stuff, but some of them are just insane, right? So here's the deal. We've got three here. All right, We see one is broken. We see one is a Philips Sonic here, and we see one is a Colgate whatever it is. Right? If we turn them all on individually, I think just by turning them on, you're going to be able to understand. Now, I do apologize ahead of time that if these make an ultrasonic sound that kind of messes with the, uh, the, 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 you know, the, the microphone and makes it a little loud. So maybe you might want to turn it down a little bit. I am going to put this near the microphone, okay? So first one, this is the Colgate. Okay. Second one is the Xiaomi bit louder. You can definitely tell it's more powerful. Up. Oh, three modes. That's about as much as it gets. That's the highest frequency. And then ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the boss house. The Philips Sonicare. That's like that's like going from earthquake like that's like a like a 2.0 to like a 5.0 immediately, you know what I mean? The Philips Sonicare. I, I, we don't even really have to test these for me to really tell you. You can hear this. I mean, you can feel it. It reverberates in the bottom of your hand, whereas this guy is kind of like a little weak. You know, this is like the, the dollar store version, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then we have the Xiaomi, which, to be perfectly honest, I actually used it for a long time for this until I decided to get the Sonicare. And then I was like, what the crap? Wow. So, what's the deal here? Let's clean something. As we all know, well, actually, where did it go? I'm just trying to find the one that was all dirty and nasty that I had. Yeah, I'm sure this won't work. We can just get it all nasty real quick. A little bit of, a little bit of nasty flux here. As we all know, and we all talked about before in the, well, we all, I talked about in the other video, if you heat up your flux, it becomes thinner and easier to sop up with whatever you're using, whether it be like a cotton swab or if you're using like, you know, just a little clean room cloth or something like that. Um, so the first thing is make sure that your flux is not super hard, right? We're just going to warm this up a little bit. Let's see here. And you can actually tell there's a lot of grime and gunk and it's just, really, it's just nasty. We probably don't even need to do this part. It's probably already nasty enough. This is just something out the old donor donor box of time look at how nasty it is so whatever we've got to heat it up it's thinner now right and at this point you would see somebody going to town just scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing let me show you something with this sonic here first things first 
ingredients here. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get our isopropyl alcohol. Don't turn this on before you touch the board. If you do, you better have some glasses on. It's gonna go everywhere, you know what I mean? So after that, you can look down here into this screen, this down here, you know what I'm saying? And I am just gonna, I mean, this is like toothbrushing, you know what I mean? Do your normal toothbrushing, but just do it like this. I mean, you can see it doing its, I, I'm not even, uh, it's self-explanatory. Let's just get this thing cleaned up, you know what I mean? This is like you doing it like a hundred thousand times. If it's not going to get clean like this, it's going in the ultrasonic, right? You can feel it kind of bouncing all over the place. Just dry it up just a little bit here. Okay, so what we are seeing here, actually, let's go, yeah. Look how clean that is. And you can see that it's kind of got down in the little areas and stuff like that. You can see here it's starting to clean it out. If you actually took your time and decided, hey, I want to do this, you know where those parallel lines are. You know what I mean? You know where to clean at. You know how to get this done. Just like brushing your teeth, you know what I mean? Get that stuff off the top. I always like my little bolt blower bulbs. They're always fun. Let's see what it looks like now. Da da da. I don't think I really need to say anymore. You guys see how clean that is? You see how clean that is? Go get yourself a Philips Sonicare. Go get yourself a couple of the uh, the knockoff off-brand doohickeys. You can get them on AliExpress, wherever. You, know. you can even go to Walmart and get them pretty cheap. You know what I'm saying? Like five pack was like $25. These will last you for a hot minute. I've seen people using the same toothbrush for like five years. You know what I mean? Um, what are my last thoughts here? My last thoughts. If somebody doesn't do this, soon enough I'm going to do it. I want these with horse hair inside here and ESD. Somebody somebody go do that. That's, that's all I'm saying. So, da -da -da. make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn on those notifications, and most importantly, if you're in any of those groups online, do me a super solid favor if you learned something today. Would you just post this video in there and just ask people what they think? Tag me in it. Whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? I just want to see what other people think. That's all. And I want to share what I'm doing. So, anyway, hope you learned something. I will catch you next time. All right, looks like we made it through a whole nother video. That's right. Now you yourself can go pick up a Philips Sonicare and some extra bristles if you need at some point. And your boards can look absolutely pristine if you put a little bit of that elbow grease in there. Not as much as you normally would. Just just some of that elbow grease. You're going to be good to go. Um, so this one's cool. You can kind of pick it up anywhere. But if you are looking to pick up all the rest of the tools that are on the channel, go ahead, this link down here, artof.repair, put it up there and hit enter. And what's going to happen is you're going to get all the links to everything that I do, including you know some of the other things I do in the industry, as well as my tool web shop that you can go visit and pick up all the coolest tools, including things that you've never seen before. So with all that being said, I'm really glad that you guys watched the entire video. And you know, if you ever need anything, just you know, leave a comment down below. Good, positive, negative, doesn't matter what it is, you know what I mean? That's how people really figure these videos out. They check out those comments before they watch. So, you know, leave a comment and share in those groups online. It really helps. I appreciate you guys. Have a good day.